up YouTube friends uh, today I have for you a quick look at uh, battery hookups the uh, BMS that they sell let's take a look and see what we've got here so uh, it is um, th the one I have is the 8s lithium iron phosphate I think they've got a 4s an 8s and a 12s that they're selling currently on their website and then they have uh, uh, several different ones for lithium ion but uh, I had to look up this name so I could figure out if I'm um, pronouncing it properly so I think it's Shi Zeng I believe is the uh, the brand of it so uh, let's bust it out Alright, so got it all hooked up here, uh, just temporarily, and uh, we've got the Bluetooth module, so it is a smart BMS. We have uh, an app that I downloaded for it. There's several apps for iOS, for Apple products. The uh, app for Android, unfortunately, does not work on both of my Android devices, so, uh, you know, your mileage might vary on that, but uh, it does does work on several of the Apple apps. So we've got the uh, 26 volts coming out of this 24 volt battery pack, lithium iron phosphate battery pack. Let's try to see if the low voltage disconnect works. So we've got two, two temperature sensors. Let's try to make one really cold. Use some compressed air or some canned air. That should have done it, I would think, but uh, we're in the negative on the temperature sensor. Well, that's interesting. Well, let's try the other one. Maybe we got to cool down both of them? I mean, that would definitely happen, you know, if it's cold outside. Let's try, let's try just this other one by itself first. It went negative. Still did not turn off. We're still getting 26 volts. All right, so we're gonna do both of these sensors. Ooh, that's cold. Did you hear it? Did you hear it like burn my flesh? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We're gonna freeze both of them. All right, guys, so. <laughs> interesting we're still getting 26 volts and we are like can you see this uh negative 30 celsius on both of those sensors maybe the low voltage disconnect doesn't work <laughs> do we have to be pulling a load is that what it is let me try to find something all right guys i've got i got a load hooked up well i'm about to have a load hooked up there we go. All right, we got uh, uh, voltages dropped to 25 and a half, roughly. All right, let's freeze this thing up and see if we can't get it to stop with a load on. Uh, oh, there it went. Okay, so it works. So you you actually had to have a load going through it. So the load temperature disconnect does in fact work. Let me let me warm these guys back up and it comes back cool yeah so this thing works all right well there you go uh that's a quick rundown of the she sing uh bms it's a 100 amp bms bms by the way that uh, battery hookup sells the um, low temperature disconnect does in fact work the bluetooth and apps on your iOS devices do, do work, but like I said, <laughs> I had no uh, no such luck getting it to work on my Android devices. But uh, yeah, so this is Smart BMS. The uh, nice thing about this is it's got shunt built in, so you're gonna know 
battery capacity, it's going to do all the protection stuff for you. It's got some balancing capabilities, but on, on a larger battery, um, yeah, good luck on that. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a pretty good uh, cost-effective BMS. I think they sell it for somewhere around $75-ish, and I think they've also got some kits where they, they sell some battery packs with this with this BMS in their kit and uh, it makes this a little bit uh, uh, you actually save some money on it but I'll see you guys next time